Hey guys and welcome to Hardy Gastro. In today's video, we'll be talking about gallbladder cancer. So let's get started. So what is gallbladder cancer? When DNA defects or mutations occur, they can create multiple abnormalities in healthy organ cells within the gallbladder. These DNA defects end up making cells grow out of control. Over time, these cells can form into cancerous tumors that may even grow and spread beyond the gallbladder. So if we take a closer look at this image at the bottom of my screen, we see here the gallbladder is located just beneath the liver. And if we sort of magnify this region, we get this picture, which shows us where the gallbladder is situated. And then we see when DNA defects or mutations occur within the cells that make up the gallbladder, they can form cancerous cells. And when one cancerous cell forms, it can start growing more rapidly and a bit out of control. And this is actually what causes the tumor to form. So it begins with one cell that has a DNA defect or a mutation within the specific organ. And the more this cell begins to divide and multiply, the larger the tumor will get. And that is how gallbladder cancer is actually formed. So now let's talk about some signs and symptoms of gallbladder cancer. So as we mentioned in our previous slide, the gallbladder is situated here just beneath the liver. And the interesting thing about the gallbladder is that as the tumor starts to grow within the gallbladder, it can actually spread into the cystic ducts. So tumors progress from the gallbladder into the cystic and hepatic ducts, which cause the bile to back up into the liver and eventually into the bloodstream. So I'm mentioning this first because as we will go on to see, a lot of the signs and symptoms that are related to gallbladder cancer actually involve the liver. So if we take a closer look at this little box, it says disease progression, and it says the tumor begins growing in the gallbladder, which is here. The tumor invades the ducts of the gallbladder and blocks the bile flow. So as we can see, this tumor invades all the cystic ducts and the bile backs up into the liver. So once the bile backs up into the liver, the liver is situated here, as we see in this picture, we will have the onset of all these symptoms. So we will have symptoms of a bile duct obstruction, which is similar to having a gallstone or having a sclerosing cholangitis, etc. So some of the signs and symptoms associated with gallbladder cancer include abdominal pain or cramping, nausea and vomiting, jaundice, which is the yellowing of the skin and the white of the eyes. So as that bile starts to build up and has nowhere to go, it's going to back up into the liver and eventually pull into the bloodstream and that's going to cause jaundice. The patient will also experience bloating, feeling of a lump in the abdomen and fever. So now let's explore the types of gallbladder cancer. There are several types of gallbladder cancer and they are the adenocarcinomas, the squamous cell cancers, the adenosquamous cancers, the small cell cancers, the sarcomas, the neuroendocrine tumors, and the lymphomas and melanomas. So now let's explore each of these further. So the adenocarcinomas. This is the most common type of gallbladder cancer and makes up about 85 out of every 100 gallbladder cancer cases. So we have 85% of gallbladder cancers are actually the adenocarcinomas. This type of cancer begins in the gland cells in the gallbladder lining, and the gland cells usually produce a thick fluid called mucus. The adenocarcinomas can also be divided further, and there are three subtypes of the adenocarcinomas. They are called the non-papillary adenocarcinomas, the papillary adenocarcinomas, and the mucinous adenocarcinomas. So if we take a closer look at this image on the right side of my screen, this is actually what a gallbladder adenocarcinoma looks like. This is a gross aspect, so large and visible to the eye. And this is a cholecystectomy specimen, which means they've removed the gallbladder from the patient. And it shows an adenocarcinoma, which contains areas of mucosal irregularity and thickening of the gallbladder walls. So we see all the cancer that has grown and invaded the walls of the gallbladder. So now let's mention a few things about all the other types of gallbladder cancers. The squamous cell cancers usually develop from the skin-like cells that form the lining of the gallbladder along with the gland cells. The adenosquamous carcinomas are cancers which have both squamous cancer cells and glandular cancer cells. The small cell carcinomas are also called oat cell carcinomas 
and this is because the cancer has a distinctive oat-like shape. The sarcomas. The sarcomas are a name of cancer that affects the supportive or protective tissues of the body, and this is also called the connective tissues. And the connective tissues are our muscles, our blood vessels, and our nerves. So a cancer that begins in the muscle layer of the gallbladder is called a sarcoma. We can also have neuroendocrine tumors in the gallbladder, and neuroendocrine tumors are rare cancers that grow from the hormone-producing tissues, usually in the digestive system, and the most common type of neuroendocrine tumor is called the carcinoid. And finally, as we said, we can also have a lymphoma or a melanoma. So these are extremely rare types of gallbladder cancer. They are not necessarily treated in the same way as the other types. For example, the lymphomas tend to respond well to chemotherapy and radiotherapy, so it is very unlikely that you would have surgery to treat a lymphoma. So now let's talk about the treatment in general of all types of gallbladder cancer. So the first thing we can do is surgery to remove the tumor and some surrounding healthy tissue around the tumor. So this is usually done by a process called a cholecystectomy, which is the removal of the gallbladder. The patient can also go for radiation therapy and this uses high energy x-rays or other particles to destroy the specific cancer cells. We can also do systemic therapy and this uses medication to destroy the cancer cells. This type of medication is given through the bloodstream to reach the cancer cells throughout the body. And finally, we can try chemo. Chemotherapy uses specific drugs to destroy cancer cells and this is usually done by ending the cancer cells ability to grow and divide. And that brings us to the end of this presentation on gallbladder cancer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. Take care and bye for now.